Hey, how's it going, everybody? So it's been about 24 hours with the Google Pixel 7, and I'm going to give you guys that impressions of what I think about the phone so far. But before I do that, big shout out to the community. This would not be possible if it wasn't for all of you. So um, I'm only able to make this content because of you guys, and I'm so grateful. So again, thank you so much. I will never stop saying thank you to you guys. But let's get into it. My thoughts with the Google Pixel 7 after 24 hours of it being in my possession. And I have to say that there are some major strides that Google took in place. And I'm quite happy to know that. Uh, when the Pixel 6 came out, which by the way, I'm recording this video with, um, it did have some bug issues for some people out there. Um, I was fortunate enough to not have a lot of those bug issues. But I can say that a lot of the things that people have complained with the Pixel 6 have been addressed here with the Pixel 7 so far in my usage. The fingerprint sensor is much faster. We do have face unlock, which face unlock is pretty accurate on things. Partially, my face was covered when I was demoing it and it wouldn't unlock until it saw my entire face with eyes open. And so, yeah, it works great. And it's nice to have those two options if, you know, you just want to have those two options as for security. Um, as far as performance with the Tensor G2, the phone handles everything that I've thrown at it. And I have done some stuff today. Not some real heavy things, but, you know, I made a couple of shorts, which is dropping little by little throughout today. Um, showing you guys just the video capabilities with the raw footage, unedited, not ran through an editor or anything like that. And uh, those are being dropped little by little. Been shooting in 1080p 30 frames and also 1080p 60 frames. I haven't done any 4K testing just yet, but I will later on down the road. And yeah, so uh, when you're in social media apps like Twitter and such, um, you can see the fluidity of just scrolling through. Now with the uh, Google, uh, the Google feed, I've noticed this, and this is with any Pixel phone and any Android phone, but there's always going to be some jank. And I really wish that Google would fix that and address that. Just, you know, it's just weird to have it, like, all jittered up. But, um, yeah, cameras are pretty solid. Um, I, this is, like, my second photo that I've taken with the Pixel 7, and I like how it looks. Um, I've taken one earlier today and posted it on Twitter in response to um, Google Pixel underscore US. But, yeah, look at this photo here of my little Android figurine. I mean, that that's pretty solid. And this is a 7, not the 7 Pro, so I don't get that telephoto lens. Um... Another, another area to just kind of like think about, which kind of like surprised me, was the audio with uh, this device. Um, the audio is pretty loud and pretty good. And so here in just a second, I'm going to give you guys an audio sample of what that sounds like. But I have to say, it's 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 pretty good. Um, still falls below what I consider the best, the Pixel 4. But nonetheless, take a listen. Yeah, so the audio is really crispy and really loud. And if you are wanting to listen to music, it's going to be a good experience. Um, it's nice and loud. That's that's what I got to say. I still say the Pixel 4 has the best audio of them all. But um, yeah, this has just replaced the 6 on that, that ladder. So besides that, um, you got an Android 13. It's running really good on here. Um, you get all your customizations and whatnot. So that's great. And, um, you know, I will say one thing here. The battery life is really good on this thing so far. It's still learning all my mannerisms, but I do have to say that the battery is pretty solid. Uh, with today, we're at 63%, and um, screen on time has been about three hours. So uh, not too bad, not too shabby. But in all, I have to say this in closing out. Um, when we were wanting the Pixel 6 to be this grand, perfect device, of course, things are going to be super perfect. But I got to say... The 7 emulates what the 6 could have been if it didn't have all those bug issues. So big shout out to Google for that. Uh, let me know what your guys' thoughts are. Ask questions you guys want to see um, in the future videos. Thanks for watching. Y'all take it easy. Peace.